One of the more common questions Christians have is knowing God's will for their lives. It's ponderous and few come to any real conclusions, often because of their inability to let go and let God lead them to the answer. There is an answer, however, in Scripture that sheds considerable light on the subject that says that you're able to discern or test what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Would you like to know the perfect will of God for your life, friend? If I told you what you needed to do, would you do it? The scripture I just quoted part of actually comes from a very familiar passage you'll recognize as Romans 12.2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove, that is, discern what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. The answer is getting to know Jesus intimately enough so it changes your character to the point where you're willing to clearly hear His will for your life. But that's not the entire answer. If you go back one verse in Romans 12.1, it begins with the real challenge. I beseech you, brethren, therefore, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. God says in Zechariah 4.6, it can be done not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. I encourage you to completely give everything over to God and let him move the mountain that blocks your path to his perfect will for your life.